David R. Guttery is an investment advisory representative of Emeritus Investment Corporation and president of Keystone Financial Group in Trustville, Alabama. Please stay tuned through the end of the video for additional important disclosure information. Today I am joined by David Guttery, president of Keystone Financial Group in Trustville, for a discussion about making financial decisions after a life-changing event. Hi David, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. David, I'm sure that many of your clients have been faced with such life-changing events that might include the death of a loved one, sickness, and a divorce, among other things. How do you, as a financial advisor, help your clients during times such as these? Oftentimes, situations such as these appear suddenly. An unforeseen diagnosis or a disability caused by an accident or death can be devastating to otherwise solid financial plans. The management of risk is proactive, it's not reactive. The first way that I help clients with situations like these is by encouraging them to ensure their lives, their health, and their income long before a catastrophe occurs. Secondly, when tragedy strikes, I'm there to help with the prioritization of action items. Some things must be done quickly, and other things can wait until the dust settles. While the client or the survivors are dealing with the emotional distress of the event, I'm there to shoulder the burden of discharging the critical financial responsibilities. Being proactive may be the best way to address some forms of life disrupting events, but what about events such as divorce? Obviously, no one plans on being divorced one day, and yes, such can be a very life-changing and financially disruptive event. I guess the answer depends on the client and other familial circumstances. If this is a second or a third marriage, then often prenuptial agreements are drafted to provide guidelines for asset division in such cases. Trusts can be used to ensure that the children of a new spouse don't inherit the estate of a former spouse. Otherwise, I am working with either or both of the clients to restructure income plans, investment plans, and advise in other ways pertaining to getting their lives back on track. Depending on the client's proximity to retirement and future marital status, there may be other factors related to Social Security of which to be mindful as we're putting financial pieces back together again. What about your clients with aging parents? for whom roles have reversed and they are the caregivers and custodians? This is a very common situation and it's never easy. It's difficult to watch a parent gradually decline and lose cognitive or physical abilities or suffer with dementia or Alzheimer's, for example. On many occasions, I find myself working alongside other legal and CPA professionals as we advise clients on matters pertaining to Medicaid, structuring qualified income trusts, sequencing beneficiary designations, and taking other steps to minimize the exposure to different types of risk while maximizing durable income for the provision of their needs. Furthermore, I help clients and their adult children to identify fraud tactics in an effort to minimize exposure to financial elder abuse. Sometimes it might make sense to jointly own assets, and in other cases, such ownership might inadvertently introduce new levels of risk that might undermine what we're trying to accomplish. Each situation is unique and is best discharged by a team of advisors with a distinctive competency in each area. So, when the life of a client is suddenly impacted by a crisis, you're there to help stabilize the situation to the degree possible while working with extended family members and other professional advisors. Precisely. In certain situations, it's hard to find north with a compass. That's where I come in. Frankly, I've always been there, but at times like these, a client needs the assurance of knowing that a fiduciary is there looking out for them to advise and direct on decisions that need to be made now and on those that can wait for a more appropriate time. Involving adult children or other close family members helps because it brings other sets of eyes into the situation at a time when clarity is critical. Life changes. Upheaval happens. Plans must adapt and change 
and in some cases held together with triage. That's my job and privilege. Thank you, David. For additional information, David may be reached through the means listed upon the following screen. For the Trustful Tribune, I'm Tana Friday. David R. Guttery independently offers securities and investment advisory services through Emeritus Investment Corporation, member FINRA and SIPC. AIC and Keystone Financial Group are not affiliated. Additional products and services may be available through David R. Guttery or Keystone Financial Group that are not offered through AIC. Some of the products and concepts discussed have their own cost and are subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. These costs and risks will be thoroughly discussed with you prior to any recommendation or solicitation. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. Information provided is gathered from sources believed to be reliable. However, we cannot guarantee their accuracy.